just up here in the mountains visiting a friend and I thought I'd pop in and see whether or not the Lapston Hill or better known the Glenbrook Railway Tunnel is open. They're going to open it to the public. They're doing a whole bunch of maintenance down here. As you can see it says deer to 100 meters. Works being undertaken to improve facility access. Please stay outside security fenced areas. Site closed. Heavy machinery operating. Now there used to be a big gate here for the last oh, maybe year or so. So I'm interested to see what's going on down here. We explored this both ends uh, back in 2021 I think. We came in through the opposite side when we walked through the tunnel gully all the way from Leonay where Jules used to live. We managed to actually get into the tunnel. You'll find this tunnel on an episode of Cities of the Underworld, Alcatraz Down Under. This is where they stored mustard gas, just in case the Japanese invaded in World War II. So this facility down here was a storage depot. And on that, um, on that episode, Al Alcatraz Down Under, you'll see a whole bunch of sheds because there used to be an active mushroom farm within that tunnel back in 2008 when that was filmed. But I've driven past this place a number of times and I've noticed the fences up there and today when I drove past heading up to the mountains I looked back and I couldn't see a thing so it says there's a detour about a hundred meters down here so we'll see what that's all about. From memory I can recall a scooter ramp or a skate ramp down here that the kids have made. So it doesn't look like to be any activity going at the moment. It does say it's got surveillance cameras down here. Maybe that's got nothing to do with the railway tunnel. Maybe they're improving something else. No, that's where you get in, where that gate is. You're heading that way. And along here used to be all sheds back in 2008. It's a really interesting episode. I did upload that to YouTube, but it wasn't long before the copyright owners took it down. And I got a strike over that back in 2021. I pleaded my case, told them that I actually visited the the tunnel today and uh, I just wanted it on there so people could see what it was like when you guys filmed it but they weren't having a bar of it. Even when me and Jules came here in 2021 there was no sheds then either. It says stay out of the fenced area. If we can sneak around, we'll have a bit of a look, but if we have to jump over a fence or anything, we won't bother. Now well, they've done a lot of remedial work down here, haven't they? Wow. This has all been done here. So there's the creek that runs through here. Little bridge. I remember too when we came down here we actually walked up the back there and ended up back towards Glenbrook. Here's the uh, skate ramp and the scooter little facility, facility that uh, I think the young kids have made here. Okay, so the fence is open. Are they working on it? It looks like someone has pulled the fence. Is this the sign that says not to go down there? Danger, do not enter. So someone has opened the fence. Let's go down and have a bit of a squeeze. So they cleared all this garbage out that was in that video. 
So if you're interested to see that, go to playlists and click on 2021. If you remember, there used to be some machinery here back then from the mushroom farming days. I've got a couple of pictures of me standing on that. They've cleared everything on top here. This was really bushy, I remember. Trees everywhere. There's an old light up there. Crown Land says it's got CCTV. So Lapston Hill Tunnel. Council is calling community feedback on a series of, of essential upgrades and future design elements, I think. I forgot my uh, flashlight. I should have got it. Someone could shine down there. What kind of locks are we talking about? Oh, I've got some heavy, heavy duty locks in there. Yeah, you ain't getting through these doors. So we couldn't get in from this side, we had to get in from the other side. But that's blocked off as well. I've actually seen a video from a gentleman where he was hoping to get in. But they've put this kind of door and they've fixed the, uh, the gully, the tunnel gully on the other side nicely. It's not um, waterlogged anymore. Actually, I might run back up to the uh, vehicle and grab the X80 and just shine it down in there, see how far down we can see. What I might do is I might go take the Lee and A exit and then come back up the hill heading towards Glenbrook and take that first road off to the left down near the water tank, park the car and come in from the other portal as well. See what it looks like. I know that um, this area here looks like this. I'm familiar. This hasn't changed too much apart from the machinery that's been taken, but I haven't seen the other side, so I might do that while I'm up here. Let's just shine that. Uh, you can see it's got a bit of a right hand bend down there. This was so messy back in 2021. There's not much else to film here. Let's go take a little bit of video of the scooter area slash skate park that the kiddies have built up here. Oh, actually, I did find some inscription here on the rock. It says 8 slash 43. So we're talking World War II era. I never saw those before with that big machine being here. I think there's just trees covering that as well on that end. Make a cool picture sitting up there. Yeah, definitely I'm going to take that exit and then come back and see it from the other portal. I'm interested to see how they've cleared up that waterlogged gully there. Because we actually climbed down the rock. We actually didn't walk down the tunnel rail because it was just far too boggy. This is quite a nifty little area for the kids to muck around in. I don't think the council has built this. Please keep this Peace clear, take your trash place, sorry. Yeah, again, there used to be sheds here. People used to live here back in the day when the mushroom farm was operating. What a cool place to be out of the way of everyone. No police would ever come down here. Now see, it's the... Um, do-it-yourself skate park. They've been building bits and pieces. Sean Desi does the same. He's done a few DIY videos where they buy some concrete 
and they build these ramps for their scooter play. Whether or not this is a skate ramp, I'd say it'd be scooter with that um, railing there. But the kids have built all this. Pretty impressive, huh? No one's torn it down, council hasn't torn it down, so... And they're building something there, it looks like. They're going to build a big ramp there, so they've put all the rocks there. Maybe they were told off by the construction workers. They were going to concrete that. You see all the Rio to harden things up as well. Maybe they've been told they can't come down here anymore. See how they put the pipe in here? So they can slide their scooters and skateboards along it. Impressive stuff, lads. I watch Son Desi all the time and I watch his DIY videos. So I know what this is all about. You've done a great job up here. It looks rather fancy. I think Son Desi lives up in Queensland now, so... Ooh. Please keep this place clear. Take your trash. Someone's put some sort of stencil over that, sprayed it or painted it. I got time's getting on a bit. Let's go see if we can get onto the other side and see what that portal's all about. When I was walking down, this bird scared the shit out of me. Look at the colours on it. It looks like it's an, a, a macaw that's escaped. I'd say it's someone's pet. You listen, if I start walking now, it's going to get the shits. Let's see if he starts yelling like he did a minute ago. He was going off just a second ago. He's probably scared. That looks like someone's pet. You can see that the uh, feathers on the tail there are a little bit damaged. Let's see if I can walk this way and see if he says, starts talking again. There you go. He was screaming before. I'll come out from behind the trees here and see if he goes off again. He's keeping quiet now. He's nodding at me. Put a bet on that that's someone's pet. It's like he wants to um, thing up his wings at me. You know how they do them when you're holding him and that? It'd be funny if he flew down here. All right, see you later, mate. Hope you find your home. Before I leave here, heading into the other side of the portal there, have a look how many locks are on this gate. I know different authorities have to get in here, but surely there's not many <laughs> different companies that need to open the locks. We have got one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven locks master lock lockwood lockwood abus lockwood another lockwood this one's an old one. Oh, this one's a carbine i think that's a really hard one to pick it's um it's not a pin tumbler lock what is that i forget now sydney water so this one's Sydney Water. 
plenty of locks here. I forget just how busy this overpass gets when you want to head back up to the mountains here at Lino. I've taken the exit and they've got the lights working here. See the freeway down there beside me. We're going to turn right here. Hopefully we'll get through these set of lights. And then we'll head back up the hill. Go! Looks good to me. Look at the traffic coming out of there. It's school time, is it? Yeah, 3.12. That's why. Alright, this first exit up here should lead us to the water tank where we'll park. Duck somewhere here as well that we explored with Jules back in 2020. Up in the bush on that side there. Lapston. So this is the exit you need to take. Grosvenor's Drive, I think it is. Governor's. Governor's Drive. Lapston exit. memory serves me correctly, there should be some sort of water tank down here somewhere. See, we could have did, done that walk all the, those years ago, parked the cars here, but I wanted to see if I could make it from Jules' house up the tunnel gully, just to get an idea of what was down there. So that's why we, we did that walk. I think we actually went down there to go home. We cross this bridge too. Let me get my bearings and see where I am. I'm gonna try to find that tank. That's why I missed it. it was on the wrong side. So just down there is the exit to Governor's Drive, Great Western Highway. As you're coming off, keep a lookout for the tank on your right hand side. So I've just parked my car right here aiming towards the Western Motorway sign. You see the Lapston City of the Blue Mountains sign here. Now I'm not quite sure if it's up there or down here. I'm trying to remember how we came back out. That one looks more like a tunnel gully. Let's go up here. And see, because when you think about it, the tunnel is on the other side of the Great Western Freeway there. So you would think it'd be up here. Remote surveillance cameras may be used in this reserve to aid in prosecution of illegal activity. Danger. No unauthorised persons beyond this point, but the gate's open. So it's not closed. Does that mean we're allowed in? You guys saw it. I didn't move the gate, it was already open. If we come across someone up here, you guys can back me up. I 
I gather I could have walked around from the other side where they were fixing that path that may have brought me all the way here although I think that tunnel's about 600 meters in length so it would have been a fair walk the tunnel is down there from what I can recall This looks completely different here. I don't remember any of this. Oh yeah, there it is through there. Yeah, this was just all overgrown bush. There was a tunnel that me and Jules were in and we got a few pictures. See, we climbed down the mountain there. Bit of land slippage. That's the way we came up. And there's remnants of some sort of station or something down there. I was always going to, we can't through the Lantana. Now I remember. There it is, here. So I've, there's a, a photo of me and Jules in there. That didn't look so deep. <laughs> Three or four years ago. It's funny. It wasn't all that long ago, but this area has completely changed. That's where we came up. And we walked that entire tunnel gully and followed the power lines from Lee and A. We came up this way. We came up there, and I think we went through that tunnel there, and there's a picture of us just here. And then I'm, then I'm pretty sure there were stairs here. Because I've got a picture of me standing on top of some stairs. And this will lead us to, I don't know what, um, is this the, the eastern portal? And the other side's the western. Does that ring any bells? So we couldn't walk down here back then. We went through the bush. And I'll show you as we get closer how we got down to the portal entrance. can see the cutting through here. got that video now because it shows what was inside and let me tell you there was a hell of a lot of stuff inside the little pool there at the bottom of the waterfall and look at this retaining wall here talking from the 1800s and there's the cutting imagine the uh, single line steam train roaring through here woo woo so still, we were walking up there. This was just far too boggy through here. And there's the portal there. And I'll show you exactly how we came down. How interesting. This would be great. This is what they want to do with the Otford Tunnel. Open it up. I was reading about it just this year. I thought it was going to open this year. I'm now thinking... I read that it said mid-2025, so next year. But again, it's probably weather permitted. See how they've laid this cloth down and it's already been washed away. Okay, so we crossed the top of the portal. I can remember I was on top of the cutting here and as soon as I seen that the entrance was open because the door had been caved in you could hear me in that video going yes yes we can get in because that was a long walk from Leonay and to get here and find that it was closed and that was in the height of COVID I remember having to come here 
with a special dispensation of if you had a partner living out of the area that you lived in you're allowed to visit them so that's the only way I was able to get here through that COVID period that's where we came down have a look at that that looks a lot more dangerous today than it did back then <laughs> I've got a picture of Jules the action woman halfway down <laughs> this little concrete I don't know what it's for it's uh, some sort of piping here stormwater piping but that's how we got down and we couldn't get back up there and we climbed up here so after we had finished the walk through we walked all the way in and all the way back we climbed up here made it out and straight up through there there's a picture of me just on the, the edge there i've got the x80 again let's shine it in here although it's going to be the same thing so see they've placed the door within the portal so the one that was busted was down here somewhere and they've so they could um, bolt it to the brickwork they've had to take it in a little bit because there was no way of doing it here let's go see what this looks like looks to be some original path here from the train days yo can't see any security cameras and once again there's a bit of a dog leg towards the right there's a manhole there on the left now, as soon as I got into this tunnel back then it was somewhere around about down here I um, thought that the ground underneath me was quite sturdy and it was loose as and my whole leg sank down sank down to my knee there's even pictures of my knee being dirty all the way back home again it's fantastic well that was a good little tour actually like I said I was up here visiting a friend and it's good to have a video from three or four years ago what it was like inside and what it looked like here so if you guys want to compare the video from 2021 to the video now in 2024 like I said go to playlists and click on the year 2021 and if you can find that episode cities of the underworld it's from 2008 it's called alcatraz down under and look for the world war ii mustard gas facility this is where that was stored and they were testing it on young soldiers and they were vomiting and terrible times back then i'm going to get a few pictures and then i'll head on out just heading home Back at this retaining wall i've noticed a fantastic looking cave up there so if you're in the area i'm sure people have been up there before but that's a nice deep cave i've also seen a brick here that may well be from the 1800s it looks like it's some got some sort of uh, markings on top and they did that with the bricks back in the day I love this retaining wall to think this is from the 19th century this is incredible unbelievable so there's the tracks up the top there so I'll go the walkers although it said that you couldn't come up there didn't it this used to be a hive of activity for walkers. You can see all the trails, all the goat tracks here. So maybe no one walks up here anymore. I can remember seeing a lot of walkers back then. That would look pretty there as well on rain flow. That's a very cool cave. 
just on top. You probably imagine the kids in the 1800s that were bored, probably sitting up there and throwing rocks on top of the train. We used to do that at Waverton. Had a mate that, um, or cousin, that lived virtually on top of the train tracks there before it headed in to the tunnel. <laughs> we used to throw rocks. You just see this bang, 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 bang. It's the things you did back in the 70s. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a little nostalgic tour of something that we did three years ago. There is a number of tunnels that I've got to get to, but Mavericks is very, very busy. He has just put all his efforts into his business and they are going to all different types of expos all around New South Wales. They were up at Coffs, Tamworth. I think they were up at Dubbo this year as well. So he hasn't been able to come out with me. You notice there, that's the, the arch there is from the 1800s. But the newer bit has been made by some stonemason in 2024 or 2023. And they've packed it on top. This one on the other side seems to be original. Maybe the, the top bits have broken. It's just a stormwater drain. This one over here looks like it's the original one. Yep, there's nothing wrong with that one. I wonder if there's a date on it. I don't think we sussed it out back then. Let's have a look. You would think there'd be a date right on that bit right there, but nothing. You can see a little anchor point there on both of them. Don't know what they would have been for. Right there. But if there was a date there, I can't see it now. I don't know if this has collapsed due to the rain or a torrent of water that's come through or... Just looks like it's been a landslide. Sinkhole, as they call it. Yeah, very different to what I remember. I was just about to take off home when I noticed something. Have a look at this. Is that natural? Or does it look like some sort of bomb shelter? Mate, I can't leave here without climbing up there to investigate. I've just got to find a clear path up. Give me a second, I'll get up there and we'll see what's inside or how deep it goes in. <laughs> I think it's just natural, but it looks looks like it was from down there anyway. Man-made. There's no graffiti up in here. Or maybe there was a rock collapse at some point. Let's see if I can get the torch on in there. No, it doesn't go very far. But see, this would have been covered by bush. There is a can there, so someone's come up. I highly doubt that's been washed up by the flood or anything. No graffiti, no nothing. From down there, though, they look real interesting. But there you go. I sussed it out for you guys, so you don't have to. It's a fair way up as well. Made it down safely. The lantana through there just reminds me when I was a child. Back in the day, that's what the railways loved to plant up and down their lines. The standard issue lantana to keep people from coming down. Can you imagine that wild lantana up there? You won't be coming down the Great Western 
highway is just up there. You can hear all the cars going back and forth. There's no way you're going to come down there with that lantana. It digs right into you. Well, that's it. Both portals done. Thanks for joining me. This is just a quick one. For all you people that complain my videos go for too long, here's a nice short one for you. Until I see you again on the next adventure or explore. Adios.